About this blonde ambition that I'm giving you guys today this hair is gorgeous and the cool fact is it's synthetic hair it's not even human hair so this is from Elevate Styles this is the Isis synthetic lace front scandal 3 wig and I love everything about this unit you guys first can we talk about this kinky straight texture so usually with blondes that I have tried in the past most of the blondes that I have or I own are all human hair wigs had to get that out <laughs> they're all human hair wigs so I um, have never tried I wouldn't say never I don't currently own any blonde synthetic hair so when I received this in the mail and I pulled this out the package I was like wait hold up hold up hold up hold up, hold up. I could not believe how gorgeous this unit is it it's giving you like this blow dry texture you know what i mean like gone with the wind like like beachy kind of you know baywatch vibes you feel me this is like victoria's secret i'm playing a model but i'm not a model type of hair you feel me like this is that type of hair you guys and the cool thing about this hair like it is definitely platinum blonde so when I took it out the package initially I was kind of nervous a little bit because I'm like yo I don't know how this is going to work even though I make a lot of wigs work for me um blonde is really tricky you have to be extremely careful with blondes because one wrong move girl and your whole look is just so I had to figure out how can I make this blonde work um as you can see the roots are dark and it did not come that way so I will insert a clip right here so you guys can see how I darken the roots basically all I did was take some Jerome Russell hairspray if you don't know what that is it's just a temporary hair color spray and I have it in the shade dark brown and I just sprayed it all up and through the roots as you can see and then I just took my brush and just like brushed it through and I also took my comb which is currently looking real ratchet right now um, but like combed it through so it, would, so it could like blend it wouldn't look so harsh um, and then what I did was I took some I took a little bit of mascara just a tiny bit of mascara and I just kind of like went in closer to the um, closer to the, the part and kind of like darkened it just a tad bit so as you can see it gradually fades into the blonde and it's not just like dark and then hey blonde you know what I mean so that is what I did onto this color girl because this color is serving I love this color I believe this unit is in the color XP 27-30-613 so 613 is this platinum strawberry blonde that you see up here I believe it's strawberry it's more platinum but it looks a little strawberry um to me but anyways it's a platinum blonde and I love it love it love it should I zoom in so you guys can see more so here's the platinum blonde right here and then it goes into this um 27 color and this is the 27 right here so this is the 27 and then it goes into the 30 and the 30 is in the back I usually am not a fan of wigs that have like that tri color effect like I'm really not and I think more so in like curlier units I'm just not digging I, I've never been a fan of like the light on top and then gradually like I've never been a fan of that I just thought it looked too like cheap but for some reason this texture and this length I think with the straighter lengths or the straighter textures I like that effect better I don't know I feel like it just flows better you know what I mean especially because this is so blonde I like the fact that if I just want to tossle a little bit you get some of the dark and it's just like boom bam in your face love it as you can see there is some bang action going on right there and it initially did not come like that this wig came with like I think it's meant to be worn in like a side part um, but I didn't like the side part and it's because it kind of like 
look like a helmet to me no shade but i didn't like it on me or i just couldn't get it to work for me so i was like let me do a middle part and i just put it in the middle i plucked some of the hairs i plucked some of the hairs um and the part it came with this side this side was already like layered this is how it came as you can see it's like bumped and curled and then you can see the side that i did is straight <laughs> And um, I didn't curl it, even though this is curling iron, curling iron safe, I think up to 400 or 450 degrees. Don't quote me on it. I'll leave the information or down there somewhere. Um, but you can use heat on it, but I was kind of afraid to do that, and I don't think I will. I don't want to alter this texture at all because I love this texture so much. I don't want to um, manipulate it, and I don't want it to get bone straight because this kinky texture is what gives it so much life. So I'm like, mm. you know, I try to like pin it to make it like, you know, do a little curl, but it wasn't working, girl. I'll figure out a way to get it to curl. Maybe I have to do it overnight and maybe like spray some hairspray and um, it'll probably work. But for the sake of showing you guys that you can manipulate your wig and do some fra face framing bangs and stuff like that, you can definitely do that. And it's an affordable wig, you guys. So for those of you who are like, girl, I can't do these $300, $400 wigs. You can do this one. This one is definitely affordable. I think this is a great wig to get. Scandal 3 Kinky Straight Lace Front Synthetic Wig from Elevate Styles. All the information will be down below, so check it out. I did film a makeup tutorial on this look, so be on the lookout for it. It should be up after this video. And yeah, you guys, if you have any other questions in regards to this hair, um, you can leave them down below or just chat and let me know what do you, you think about this hair. I absolutely love it. She is my cup of tea. And yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.